So in World Creator today, I just wanted to show you a couple quick things, mainly the interface between exporting out height fields and bringing them into Maya and using Redshift to render the height field and getting them to look more at a one-to-one -one ratio. So let's just try it. I'm just going to do a very simple terrain and uh, get to it. So here you can see the terrain size is 2048. Um, but what really matters to us is the precision, because the precision being set to one meter actually is going to be exporting out our height map as a 2K by 2K image. So let me just get a selection, save this out as a 16-bit for right now, and I'll show you that. So now we'll just export this out into a folder called World Machine Height Map, Export. Open up Photoshop. And let's just bring in this image and I'll show you the image size. So now you can see there's this image and if we look at image size 2048 by 2048. Now if we were to go back into World Creator and change our precision meters by one half meter now you can see all of a sudden the resolution is 4K by 4K. So let's do the same thing. I'm just going to export out and we'll bring it back into Photoshop. So let's get this exported out. Bring it on in. And let's see now with image size you're at 4096 by 4096. Alright, so I just want to add a filter in here just to give us a good visual imprint so maybe a terrace uh, one of these will work here smooth so it doesn't really matter what I'm making at this point I'm just trying to have something that's uh, very visible to read from the edges to make sure when we bring this height field into Maya I can make sure that the imagery is working so I think that's pretty decent so this looks pretty good. So let me export this out. I'll make it a 32-bit uh, export. And then we'll just uh, save this off. 2K, 32-bit uh, terrace. And then what I want to do is we'll bring this into Maya. So now I'm just going to import the Maya scene that I have set up with an image plane. I have a dome in here that I've already imported and then I have, let me open up the hypershade it's a generic redshift material with the displacement shader assigned let's swap out the image and then let us just do a quick render and see what we've got and let's see, here we go so here's the render of what we've got so far and if we compare it back to our world creator file what we can see is a couple things it looks like the height is not matching up to what we have in world creator the mounds look a little bit higher and we're not getting some of this uh, sub detail that we should be getting so from what I can see it looks like the images aren't matching up the way that the terrain is located so I think what we need to do is we'll flip the Y in the render and see if that works better. So let's just save this out. We'll call it Flip Y. It'll export out. And then now let's uh, update our image map in the shader with that Flip Y. And then let's do another test render. So now, looks this is looking better. You can see in the left-hand corner, I have that little pocket, and then the sloping to the bottom right. So let's see if we can bring in, so let's rotate this to match what we are seeing in Maya. That looks pretty good. So you can see here, there's a direct relationship between the two of them now. The height field is in the correct orientation. The only thing that we're not getting now is the actual Y height uh, between Maya and World Creators not matching up. So thinking about it, since we saved our file as a 32-bit float, what it probably could be is the color space is set to our sRGB for Redshift. 
I do believe we want it to be raw. And then now, if we go back to World Creator, right now our scale is at 0.1. And what if we look back to our World Creator, and we have a height of 307, and then the size of our map is 2048. So if we take 307, divide that by 2048, and we get a relationship of 0.149, and now if we import that into our displacement height, let's see what we get. So if we do, and it's set to raw for color space, do a render. And that is looking much better to what we want. That to me seems like a lot more of a one-to-one -one relationship. So now let's bring this into Photoshop and compare it. So let's bring uh, render, and now you can see here's our world creator image, and then there is our Maya, and the relationship to me really matches really well now. I think we've got the height scale working, changing the 32-bit uh, file to th you know with raw, completely has everything synced up. And if you look at the outline edges of our terrain and match it to World Creator, to me this is a pretty close one-to-one -one relationship.